So let me begin by telling you what I understand to be the historical framework out of which this crisis comes. And I think you need to see it historically to get a sense of how big it is, how profound it is, how serious this is. Every decade, from 1820 to 1970, every decade, the American working people enjoyed a rising level of wages. It's astonishing. And they understood work more and more as that which allowed you then to go out and buy. In the 1970s, that history of the United States stopped. Real wages stopped rising in the 1970s, and they have never resumed since. Well, for the business community, the last 30 years have been spectacular. With the introduction of computers, American workers became more and more productive. We had a 30-year period of rising labor productivity. But now stay with me. Each year the worker produces more, and what do you pay the worker each year? The same. The gap is getting bigger. That bigger, friends, is called profits. So the last 30 years of flat wages and rising productivity are the greatest profit boom in the history of American capitalism and quite possibly any capitalism. And we know what they did. They began paying themselves levels of wages and bonuses nobody ever heard of before. Large corporations paid their people tens hundreds of millions of dollars in annual salaries. Companies had huge amounts of money and bought other companies. Are you annoyed by a competitor? Buy them. Are you troubled by a foreigner who's stealing your market? Buy them. And you had the money to do it. What else did they do? They put their money in the bank. And the bank suddenly...